Now, you met backstage, but had you met before? Had you met RuPaul before? Never met RuPaul before. It's We've had sex. <laughs> Child. Yeah. 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 It's Jack the love child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and daddy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, RuPaul, in civvies tonight, but it is fair to call you the world's most famous drag queen. There isn't a more famous I one. insist. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worked for 37 years to be called a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that it is, it's like, it, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> wow. It, That's it, a lot of work. It is. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but now, you brought uh, Drag Race to the UK now, and the most famous bit is the end, when there's the lip-sync battle. So when you say goodbye to someone, you say... Sashay away. Sashay yes. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, he won't yeah. remember. Yeah. Oh, no. I, she's like, oh, oh, oh a yeah. beautifully yeah. made sign. Yeah. They yeah. <laughs> spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you were like, you, were, that you weren't in the queue for long enough. <laughs> <laughs> we're going in now. Oh, finish. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Sashay away, and then Shantae, you stay. Shantae, you stay. Yes, that uh, sounds right. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Sashay away. And I mean, there's, there's a lot. I mean, we're queens. We have to entertain ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but like, say, if Jackie Blackballs, was it Blackball uh -huh. or Blackballs? Blackball. It's, <laughs> it's a dealer's choice. She can be whatever. <laughs> you know, sometimes she's several black balls at once. So, <laughs> if you could demonstrate uh, a Sashay. <laughs> Loving that thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we could, if we demonstrate a sachet away. Yeah. So if Jackie would like to. Yeah. So, Great. Ja so Jackie has Do disappointed I, us. Should in, I tuck? Yeah. You could tuck. Tuck. Yeah. yeah. Tuck. yeah. I'll, I'll sling it over the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Where do I go? What do I do? You, you go there. We'll have some music. So, well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. You've got to be told. And, yeah, and Sasha, walk off. Yeah. It's yeah. after the kids have done a lip sync for their life, and one girl lip syncs better than the other to save herself, and the other girl uh, has to sashay away. And that's when I tell uh, one of the, uh, the loser, uh, oh, not loser, the, the one who did not win, the, the, <laughs> the, I tell that. That girl to uh, sashay away. Okay, That's so, what happened. And should I serve a little bit of sass as I? Well, no. There's a lot of tension at this point because they're waiting. You will, you will have just lip synced for your life. Okay. And you're waiting for the verdict. Okay. Right. So you're sort of praying inside okay. that oh. you get to stay. Okay. 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 This is the, the lip. Yeah. 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 Good. Tuck, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's quite a meaty tuck, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, my dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is not your time. Now, sashay away. We're talking about uh, Lenny's big break in New Faces. Full out Terminator. It's like leather jacket. Yeah. Well, I also put my face on the front here. I know, that's subtle. Because uh, you never can get enough of me. Uh, no, I know. If only there was more Arnie, but now there is. Well, that's it, exactly, yeah. And Linda, what's it like? Is it nice kind of palling around the world with Arnold again? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Arnold. We're good buds. Because you are the opposite. You've embraced Hollywood. I love people. I, I, I just, you know, I, I just have such joy getting on a set and working. I'm, I'm a, a people's person, yes. Well, not just a people person, because there's something very kind of Hollywood glamour about your one of your pets. Uh, you like this, Nadia. Oh. Uh, look, you've got... Uh, is that a fully grown horse? <laughs> I wouldn't call it fully grown. <laughs> it's a miniature pony. And what's he called? 
Whiskey. Whiskey. This is yeah. your, your pony. Oh, and he, and he, does he, does he, did you just bring him into the house for a photo shoot or does he live in the house? No, no, she comes into the house uh, anytime uh, because she loves to eat the dog's food. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, she would eat anything but does candy. Does she sleep in the house? No, she doesn't sleep in the house. No, okay. she has a stall. Okay. But, I mean, she just walks through the house like this is part of the outside. Well, you and, posted uh, a gorgeous video. This is uh, you and Whiskey uh, frolicking in, in your garden. And the music, you put this music on. Here we go. Should have been a cowboy. <laughs> oh! Debbie Harry, talking of being so iconic, uh, the Andy Warhol uh, <laughs> image, which is so famous. Oh, there you are with Andy, but here's the actual, mm -hmm. the actual painting. It's been reproduced so many times, but yeah. you still have an original, right? Mm hmm So you're okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is it? Is it in your house? No, it's uh, on the road. See, I sent it out on the road. I, I'm... It's touring without yeah, you. Yeah, it's touring without <laughs> you. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, also, Graham, there is a mural of me in um, a Gloucester car park. Just thought I'd put that in there. I did not know that. Where is it? Yes. I, yes. yes. I a, feel woefully just, uninformed. Just in case you didn't know, it's in a car park in Gloucester. <laughs> in Gloucester? <laughs> Still. Um, Still there. <laughs> did, did, <laughs> I just came from Gloucester and I didn't see it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I love it. I can't believe you missed it, Debbie. I know. I know. <laughs> hey, listen, we're moving on to Amelia Clark's film, Last Christmas. Yes. And you were saying for filming this at Christmas time. Yes. Uh, but, like, I don't, as a human being, <laughs> I don't go to Covent Garden or Soho at oh, Christmas. Oh, goodness so me. So, yeah. like, how did you do those outside scenes? Well, it was meant, it was, it was really boring, because the first month of filming, we shot reverse splits, which no one on my crew had ever heard of. You start at midnight, mm -hmm. and you finish at midday. Yeah. You're perpetually in this kind of hangover state of, like, I've just woken up, and I'm st we're still here, <laughs> and it's, the light's just coming up. But it was in order to, because we're shooting mm -hmm. at Christmas time in Covent Garden and Regent Street and the centre of London. Yeah. But when you start at Midnight, there's the office parties are just leaving. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of drunk people wandering yes. around the streets of London. Did you ever have people like screaming your name oh, in the middle of a take? But it wasn't even that. It was more like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 like they'd be repeating our lines, and then we were shooting on one of the arcades, and they'd just hang out the window and be like, you're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Just be so drunk. I don't know if you've ever had that, that drunk friend where you're like, get in the cab, it's time you went home, and they've lay like cemented to the to this <laughs> pavement. They can't leave and they're just sort of swaying a little bit. So we shot quite close to one of these clubs on the bankment, and literally it was this one shot, and we just had to get it, and the light was changing and all this stuff, and this guy was just like, Nope, I'm not leaving. <laughs> we were like, we can't shoot it anywhere else. And he was just kind of like didn't know where he was trying to get a taxi. <laughs> we had to change. So people, <laughs> but, people do it like you don't want people to find this out, but like because because people get paid off. You know, like if you get like a loud I don't drunk... know that we did that. Oh, well, I better not say that, because that's... Yeah. If you want to make a bit of extra money, turn up when there's a... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is so true. No, no, no. It is so true. Is so You're giving away a terrible yeah, secret. It's a terrible secret. But no if idea. you see like a, a film crew out and about, you just go... <laughs> You and, know then, what? and he'll just go, look, here's some money, go away. Thank oh, you very much. And then... <laughs> wow. Yeah, we did that. I, I disagree I with that. I think it depends on the producers and directors that you're working with. Oh. Yeah, oh. I directed an episode of This Is Us um, that it was a Halloween episode. Yeah. And this mm. one guy was doing that. He kept blasting his music in his house and it was messing up the yeah. shot. Sorry so about that. you know that. what I did? <laughs> I moved that damn set down the street and I was like, we are yes, not paying him anything. Yes! We are shooting Ooh. down here. Yeah. 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 yeah! I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's America, right? <laughs> <laughs> Try that shit over here. Oh, yeah. over here. You can say shit. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> show business. I know. Oh. Oh, he was so brave. Uh, now, we've got to mention uh, 
Mary Poppins first movie, uh, instant Oscar. You just uh, did that kind of skew your life that you you know well, getting I, an Oscar is such a big deal. Mm. Reese, hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Big deal. But 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 to be that famous suddenly, it, did it hit you like a bulldozer? Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did yeah. indeed. No, I think uh, it, it, it sent me into therapy and analysis mm -hmm. and all of that because it's like, oh, well, 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 what's yeah. going on? Because yeah. Reese, what was the moment? Obviously, you, you won the Oscar for. Walk the line, but what oh was, was there? A, do, gosh, you, was, do you have a moment in your life when you kind of think, "Oh, I'm actually very famous now"? I, I, I remember. I actually, I was, I was here in England doing um, the importance of being earnest, a uh, film, and then Legally Blonde came out in America. And it made all this money, and I went back to America, and my whole life had changed. Ooh. There were paparazzi waiting at the airport. I had a little baby. I was completely terrified. But, but did anyone warn you? No. Like, before you... You can't know. People no. don't know who's going to become... Yeah. And you don't know why you're the person that and you don't, people like. you it. don't know it's going to be a huge hit. Mm -hmm. Well, except, you know. Jennifer, there's a famous picture of all of you guys, all the Friends cast, on a plane. I think you're being flown to <laughs> Vegas. Oh. You're being... Yeah. That's correct. That's with uh, Jimmy Burroughs, who was the director. our director, a very fantastic, infamous uh, television director, uh, took us to Vegas and took us to dinner uh, at Caesar's Palace, very fancy, and <laughs> said, told all of us to basically, he said, I want you guys to all really look out for each other mm. because this is probably going to go on for a long time. Ooh. And we, he said, so the most important thing is look out for each other, take care of each other. And then he gave us each a couple hundred dollars and he said, now go into this casino and enjoy yourselves because it's the last time that you'll have your anonym anonymity. That's interesting. So we didn't know what the heck that meant. So we, we but it really kind of was. Because once that's, So someone yes. did sort of prep us. But then again, when it happens, you don't, don't you still think it's so ridiculous. Yeah, weird. It's all the all the yes. touring and trips. And yes, I, I mean, not that one should ever knock it. It's yes, just, oh, it's, the, it's, it's part of being. You know, it's a huge gift. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but it is a lot of obligation. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's strange when someone comes up to you in the aisle of a. Of a, <clears throat> of a pharmacy and you're buying toilet paper. I know. And then you're like, <laughs> oh my God, can I get a... You know. Oh, I, excuse me. There's a fabulous story about my, my little Emma and she, she was about three and she was taken to the, to Saks, to the local Saks, that, where they had a huge display of cardboard cutouts of Mary Poppins and everything. And she said, oh, look, there's mommy. And, and she suddenly heard two ladies say, isn't that sweet? That little girl <laughs> thinks Mary Poppins is her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Have a seat, do. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, so nice to see you. Well, Thank you for lovely. being here. Lovely. I'm so excited. I can't tell. All my life I wanted to be on the red sofa. Well, here you are. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, because we met on, on the radio and we did a lovely chat. And yeah. then because Olivia and Helena were going to be here, um, I just thought, what a great opportunity to well, have you yes, on. yes, because we're Norfolk girls. Yes. I mean, we've got something tremendous in common. Yes. And, and did you live in North Norfolk? Yes. You did? So you know Holcomb? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to ask, how, is that how you say it? Holcomb? Yes. Yes, how do you say it? Holcomb. Uh, exactly. yes. <laughs> you know when people say Holcomb and miss out the L? No, no, well, that's wrong. But wrong! You know, wrong! <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we should, we should explain, we should explain that, um, that uh, Lady and Connor in, is mm. going to be, not you, you sort of are a character in The Crown. Yes, yes. I have somebody playing me. Yeah, Nancy Nan Carroll. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, she's she my best friend. Uh, uh, good. I mean, not in real life. Uh, but <laughs> Well, I, mean, you were I, great I thought friends. I might have to curtsy to you when I came on. And then I, I think thought that should. was a bit cheesy. No, I don't think it's cheesy. Should we try it? Well, do you want me to go into my honeymoon now? Yeah. Uh, please do. Please do. We're, we're on a roll, Lady and Connor. Yeah, yeah, well, Chadwick I, looks shocked. I, 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 the thing was that when people, when I wrote this book, people thought it was going to be a little lavender sort of scented memoir. And I said, well, actually, I'm afraid it's not going to be. And then everybody said, oh, I'm going to buy it for my mother. And I said, well, I'm not sure. I do hope your mother's broad-minded. <laughs>
I feel like I've centred to mine. <laughs> well, I think mothers are rather broad-minded. Yes. Anyway, um, Colin and I, I had the most fantastic wedding at Hoko. I was treated as a, uh, as a son. There were three tents, three... I had three wedding cakes. And Tony Snowden took my um, wedding photographs and my father rather rudely called him Tony Snapshot, which I think he <laughs> will actually never forget. Um, and anyway, there I was, having had this amazing wedding, wonderful wedding dress and everything like that. And we, we were going to Paris for my honeymoon and we arrived very late at night at the Lotti Hotel and um, went up to the, I imagine, the sort of bridal suite. Well, he lay down and went to sleep. And that, that was my honeymoon. I mean, what well, I'm longing for a night of passion, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, and then the next day we spent looking, we went to the Louvre or something. And then Colin <laughs> said, uh, I was quite bored by that. And then Colin <laughs> said, well, um, I've got a great treat for you. And so I was absolutely thrilled. I thought dinner at the Ritz, you know. And I put on my best dress, all that sort of thing. We got into the car. And I did rather see, I saw the Ritz miles away, but off we went to the outskirts. And we stopped at this really seedy hotel. <laughs> my heart sank. I thought, up we went to this room, and there were two seats. Um, they, were, they were wing backed. Um, velvet seats and so I sat and on the bed were two really disgusting people making love uh, I was squelching about and I didn't know what to do <laughs> so I, I sat, sat back in my chair closed my eyes and I re- simply didn't want to look at Collie I didn't know what he was doing <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, um, anyway, I sat there pray, and then they kept on saying would you like to join in <laughs> I said, well, look, it's very kind of you. I'm very kind of you. It's very kind of you. Kind of you. Kind. But, but, but I really don't... Uh, no, thank you. No, no. So, and eventually, thank God, they finished what they did. <laughs> uh, and left the room. And I did say to Colin, I can't think, Colin, why you took me. Why you thought... And we said, I thought it might... Have, you know, I, I was a virgin, you see, because they all... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, and I think really? Colin never made love to a virgin because he used to go off to a, um, it was a b- brothel. I mean, yeah, yeah, probably probably a brothel. You'll, you'll, you'll know it, Helena. You know. <laughs> 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 Market brothel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, it had, I think it was safe yeah. to say Colin, Colin <laughs> was a colourful character. Oh, well, well, so- <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you know, these cars, obviously, they're amazing and they're so super designed and high tech. Uh, you sent a picture of the steering wheel in your car. Uh, first of all, it doesn't look like a steering wheel. So, that's the steering oh, wow. wheel. Ah. So you, so you hold on to that bit and that bit. <laughs> Is this no. a lesson? <laughs> I, I'm going home in it. <laughs> but now, the weird thing about this, you look at all this high-tech, 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 none of these buttons operate air conditioning. Is this right? <laughs> There's no AC. No. Why? Is that? <laughs> well, no. He's a multimillionaire driving. He deserves AC. Why don't you have air conditioning? I wish conditioning? I did. Jeez. Why don't you have air conditioning? Is it's it a- all about weight. So you have to get rid of that. There was never AC in the... Oh, I know. Imagine that. You just open the window, don't you? <laughs> it's very breezy. I know. Yeah. At those speeds, it's yeah. too much. No, yeah. no, but wait, actually, you know, 10 kilos of fuel in the car uh, costs three-tenths of a second every circuit per lap. So if I'm a kilo overweight, I can lose up to two seconds in the race distance. So wow. my weight is very important. And also during the weight, I lose up to four kilos in the race in an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. But this is because it gets so hot, isn't it? That, so it's if you're in something no, like Singapore or Malaysia or something. Yeah, those ones are killer. Um, but also because it's, it's just incredibly physical. Yeah. And uh, the G-force that we pull when you go, I mean, the things like on rails. So when you're doing 150, 180 miles an hour and you turn, the thing turns and your body wants to go the opposite way. So you, you have to have a really good core stability. You can't be big and bulky. If you have your weight, you know, if I was super muscly up here, my weight would be too high. So, I have to do lots of squats from my butt. Okay, so, but... I'd, <laughs> I'd like to watch you, that routine. <laughs> yeah. You have to get to your driving weight. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so actually, um, so each year the car is built to a certain weight, but at the beginning of the year it's heavy, so they, were, they asked me to be a certain weight, so a little bit lighter than normal. But then the car goes through a weight uh, saving process through the year, 
And um, but yeah, for, I think. What for do the you first, take away though? What can you take away if it's why? Do you, if the car's too heavy? Yeah. Why uh, they'll take you know, components off. So if I'm if uh, yeah if the car's overweight, they'll just take certain devices off the car, which uh, you know give the bike rack. Second. We don't need that. The small the caravan. <laughs> What is the G-force that you that, that you, uh, you pull up to six times your body weight, oh, that's, six Gs? That's crazy. On the braking and through cornering, yeah, so crazy. Gs. And I'm guessing, Kylie, you're finding this all fascinating because, of course, famously, you've played a mechanic. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, no, I, I was there before you, Lewis. Yeah, no. Do, do you go very method? Do you know a lot about cars? I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Apparently it's called a spanner. <laughs> and just, you know, be under the bonnet doing something like that. It's just disastrous. Uh, now, it strikes me, Hilary, that in terms of being a, a gutsy woman, it was something you chose. You knew you wanted more for yourself. Right. And you, as a, as a young woman, you looked for kind of inspiration. <laughs> you looked for these stories. Well, I did. And when I was, like, 13 years old and... President Kennedy had said, we're going to put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Uh, I wrote a letter to NASA and I said, I want to be an astronaut. And I got a letter back saying we don't take girls and women. And I thought, well, that, you know, it wasn't really a big disappointment to me. I was never going to be an astronaut. But the idea <laughs> that they wouldn't take any girl or any woman. And it was a, a real wake up call because nobody up until then had ever said, because I was in elementary school, and nobody said, you can't do this because you're a girl. You know, my parents were very encouraging of education. Yeah. So then fast forward, we write about Sally Ride, who was the first uh, American woman in space. And Chelsea actually got to meet her all those years later. So it, it, it shows in just one story where we went from my childhood, no women, to the first woman, American woman in space. Who I could look up to, literally. Yeah. It's yeah. funny, it's yeah. funny though, you, you mentioned uh, writing letters when you were young. David, you were one of those children. You wrote letters, <laughs> didn't you? No, because I do think there's some <laughs> children who just kind of yeah. don't oh, yeah. bother. But he, you bothered, didn't you? Well, I, I, I can't remember any other letters than this one, but I wrote a letter when there was a program, when Play School was on. You remember Play School? <laughs> it was a program here for very young children, and it was like set in a fictional house. And then there was a bit, I think, to try and help children learn to tell the time, where there was a clock, just before the story, I think there was a clock, and you go down and, there, and the thing beneath the clock would go round and there would be figures on it, and it was quite magical. And then that stopped going round at one point, and I was told, and I, maybe I'm wrong about this, but it, I was told it was because of a union dispute at the BBC. <laughs> That the, that very, that the union involved. How old were yeah. you? Yeah. I was. I mean, I think it was. I, I think I would have been f five, six. <laughs> did, no, did you know what yeah. the union was? Uh, I don't think so. But I, I later was told it was a union dispute. Anyway, I was told it was an argument. An argument between the people who did the thing going round and other people, <laughs> like the people who read the the stories or that you know. And so I wrote a letter. I think vacuously suggesting that they should have some sort of conversation to resolve their you differences. You must have been about... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was younger than that. I you were younger than eight. eight. Chelsea eight. wrote a letter when she was I, five to yeah. President Reagan. I did. What, what was grinding it, your gears? She, well, <laughs> she would just popped up one day and said she wanted to write a letter to President Reagan. So the first thing I learned how to read was the newspaper. Probably not surprising in my house. And I <laughs> read an article one day um, when I was five in the newspaper mm -hmm. over my Cheerios that I'd secretly put honey on top of because my mother wouldn't let me have sugar cereal. She now spoils my children. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she didn't say, me that's holding a grudge. <laughs> like, I love this later. show and I'm going to bring up that honey on the Cheerios yeah. again. Oh. Did you notice it wasn't subtle enough? Next time it'll be more subtle. <laughs> and I read that President Reagan was going on a state visit to what was in West Germany. And he was going to visit Bitburg Cemetery. Um, and at Bitburg, uh, there were Nazis buried there, including uh, members of the SS leadership. And I didn't think an American president should be going to pay his respect on behalf of our country to a place where Nazis were buried. How old were you? I was five, but I wrote a letter to President Reagan and I said... Give her the honey! Well, <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> the Nazis, to be fair, uh, from The Sound of Music. Oh, okay, okay. So I wrote a letter saying, you know, dear Mr. President, I've seen The Sound of Music. Um, the Nazis were not nice people. <laughs> please. Going on. Yeah, please don't go to their cemetery. Yeah. Don't, mate, I just yeah. wrote to Jim will fix it and wanted to meet Kevin Keegan. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he still went, so my letter wasn't effective. Did your letter get the thing moving around again? No, but what it... So neither of us were successful. Well, it depends how you classify it, because mm. I did receive in the post by return a BBC balloon. <laughs> uh, I didn't get anything back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not me. But now, you're one of those rare actors who you quite like the green screen and not knowing what's there and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, I prefer that over the actual animals. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything that... You gotta give him context. He hates animals. Yes. Like, he has a real oh, fear. I don't like... Yes, it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, a respect. Yeah, well, don't, don't stop saying fear. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like the the respect. But you're saying it in a way that they're gonna take it and run... It's not a fear, it's a... I don't understand what you're thinking about, so I don't like to be around you because I can't, I can't catch. I'm, I'm like Kevin. Get... It's just a poodle. Listen, <laughs> we don't know, we don't know that poodle, and that's a bit too much to get into because you're going to judge me, and I don't feel like that's what should be done here. But did you get to meet? Because obviously, don't you didn't get to meet a herd of ostriches. Yeah. But uh, but did you meet? Like, because you're on location for some of it. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, for a lot of it, we wanted to expand the Jumanji universe, so we went from the jungle, then we went to the dunes, and we went to the desert. Then we went to the snow-capped mountains in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, we were, there's a massive scene where we're on camels. Kevin got to know his camel very, very well. Terrified of camels. Very, very right? racist just, camel. He, <laughs> racist. <laughs> let's just get it out the, yes. let's get it out. Because animals are racist. Well, yes. so. the only black guy that was there. <laughs> I mean, that camel definitely had it out for me, did he not? Was any other camel making noise except mine? <laughs> Was any other camel making noises? Kevin, well, here's the thing. As you guys know, like, animals, they feed off the energy of the human being. Oh. And he had a very fearful energy. Right, so I'm, I'm racist against myself. <laughs> It was, it was a, the camel was not, it was not a nice camel, Graham. I, I believe you. I believe you. The, the camel I feel sorry is like the camel that you climbed aboard. Must have been, like, the camel's supposed to be in a row kind of thing. Not me! Yeah, not no, I'll take him! I'll take him! Yeah. Yeah. That camel was making happy noises for you. That camel left with three humps. Bad day for that camel. What? Yeah, three humps. Because you swelled the middle section up because you're so big. You get it. Okay. <laughs> now, talking of talking of frightening animals, though, uh, Jody, you were filming. Where were you? South Africa. Yes, we did a bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is Doctor Who in South Africa. Yeah, this season. And, yeah. But now you had a proper terrifying encounter. The sort of thing oh. Kevin would not like this. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll try and speak slowly so that everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we were filming in South Africa. And unbeknownst to me, the, uh, some of the South African crew had been filming what is known as a sack spider uh, crawling up and down out of this tree. So the sack spider's in the tree, they're filming it, filming each other. I've got footage saying, this is terrifying, look how terrifying that is. <laughs> no one told me. I run out of the, uh, the building, everything's a secret, so I can't tell you what building. I run out of the building into the wilderness as this... Sack spider just crawled down. You got down to be my shitting face, me. On the <laughs> and went ba 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 ba, and I ha ah, beep 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 beep. Like, I I absolutely bricked it and cannot repeat what I said. The costume was off, and our first AD, the first assistant director, was English. Pretty casually, just picked it up and chucked it as all the South Africans went, no, 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 no! And then we found out I could have died. Wow. I didn't. It didn't even bite me. <laughs> but if you Google a sack spider bite, mm. it is awful. I, it's mm. So that is, is a it, better story. Is it like story. hairy? I, is it ugly? You like, it's like got a really big body. And, it's got and the, big balls. But it was it's a sack. <laughs> it's a sack spider. No, no, it's a sack No, it's not that. It's not that. Yes, it's a sack spider. Everything has to be explained to you. Like, you just don't understand. It's got poisonous balls. Keep going. I'm no, but it's making the story a bit different. It's yeah. like, isn't it? <laughs> different for you. So the spider's balls. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, it was horrific. I was wow. so brave. There's so many things wrong. So There's yeah. so many I things wrong. Scared. I know, that's terrible. There's so many things wrong with that whole thing. First of all, I can, I can break it down, okay? Everybody that was taping it in the beginning were white. <laughs> 
That's the first thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's get that out. Let's get that, let's get that out of the way. So that it's not a shot. They will like it. Okay, it's fascinating. Oh, my God. When it lands on you and you go, oh, my God, beep, 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 and you're, you're getting it off of you. People are still taping. They were white. Okay. I'm going to let you know the whole thing. It's, it's, it's so clear. And then the guy that picked it up, chugged it. He was white. <laughs> That's the whole problem with this thing. Nobody immediately thought we shouldn't tape it. This could be something. It would, no, it was a tape. It's a spider with big balls. It don't matter what it is. <laughs> it don't matter what it is. You get out of there. You pack up. We can't shoot today. <laughs> I'm with Kevin. Yeah. I'm with Kevin. Yeah. I'm not going to y'all. And I- in life, I think we agree. We, in life, we are either, I think, dog people or cat people. I think, Judy, you are very much a cat person. Yes, I am a cat person. Yes. Uh, well, yes. And, we, and during the war in York, um, I was brought up with 17 cats and two, two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> 17? Mm. And I've always had a cat until about a year ago. Oh, now all bye-bye. Ah, oh, that's very, very kind. Oh, Would yeah. someone not get Judy a kitten for Christmas? No, 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 please don't. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Um, and then, uh, Jennifer, you've got a hairless one. Mm-hmm, a sphinx. I think we've got a picture of you, and that, there it is. That's, that's McCavity, the hairless one, and then that's Grizabella on the other side of it. Now, very, very cute. That's hard to love. <laughs> But he's so affectionate and loving. That's why he's there. I mean, (laughs) don't be aloof if you look like that. (laughs) (laughs) He's so cute. I said he's so ugly, he's cute. Did you get them because of the movie? Well, yes. Oh, okay. And now, Matthew McConaughey, I would say dog person. I have both. Oh, you've both? You've got many dogs and cats. Okay. Yes. Like, just roaming around or kind of... Roaming around. (laughs) Do they know you're their owner? They do. (laughs) They do. That's good. No, but sometimes it's good with... I I like both. Sometimes it's nice because cats are so independent. Right. You don't have to do the things with them. And then they come up and they're affectionate and they're just kind of easy. They like their own time. I like my own time. The dogs, you know, need more affection, need more time. Yeah. Yeah. And now, you, Grant, you like cats. Up to a point. Uh, on the whole, I adore them. But yeah. I don't like it when they suddenly jump on you, yawn, cato meat in your face, <laughs> then turn around and show you their asshole. Yes, they love you! I find that objectionable. That's love. <laughs> but we did have a cat growing up. It was a very strange situation because it came to possess my mother like an evil spirit. Um, it started with, my mum used to do funny voices for all animals. If we passed a sheep, she had a funny voice for a sheep and a pig, etc. And then the cat arrived and she started doing this cat voice, but it really took her over and it was <laughs> a horrible, horrible person. My mother was a lovely woman, church-going, Christian, philanthropist, rather proper, and the cat would say, fucking feed me, you bitch. <laughs> We'd say, Mom, Mom, you, you said that. <laughs> and she'd say, No, darling, I promise you, I have no control over the cat. <laughs> it's a very odd situation. <laughs> well, I, I, I feel like I'm getting to know him so much better. <laughs> <laughs> and what, do you, what are you going to do now? Are you going to take a, a rest or are you going to try and do something where there are no. I'm trying to work. <laughs> but I'm unemployed. You're unemployed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm auditioning, various things. Okay. Please, someone employ me. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to work. It's so rare we get actors coming on <laughs> asking, like, making a plea. Yeah. Kind of going, I've just been in the largest franchise in the world. <laughs> I'd now like another job. Yeah, I'd love yeah. it. Do you know, with your, your little bob, yeah. like that, you could be the sort of, the, the, the prettier daughter of NASA. If you I can, hoped you were going to say you, that. As you said, I was like, how are you going to be next? <laughs> Oh, my Can you gosh. do a Cardiff... Oh, Dace. Oh. You do a Cardiff accent? Oh, no. That's cracking. Oh, that's very good. I want to be your daughter, but can I be your friend? <laughs> that would be great. I'll think about it. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Oh, I so hope this happened. Then you're getting Gavin Casey. But now, here's a weird thing. So, Daisy Ridley in Gavin and Stacey, Rob Bryden 
in Star Wars. You have been in Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Have you? Listen up. Um, <laughs> true when story, true story. When I was at school. Yeah. Now, you see, I'm 54. So, so when Star Wars came out, I was, I was at school. The, before I mm. met you, this was in Swansea. Incidentally, Catherine Zeta-Jones was at that school. Just oh. by the by. And... <laughs> Star Wars came out and we, me and a few friends, wrote a stage version of Star Wars. Oh. And we put it on at, at the school and we couldn't make an R2-D2 because it's mm. a very difficult mm. shape. Mm -hmm. So we made a canine from Doctor Who, which is just a box and another box. <laughs> <laughs> and, we, and I was Luke and, 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 and we did it in, in Swansea. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Um, Amazing with a small A, admittedly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and actually, talking of that, we've got a few lines of dialogue. Right, yes. Uh, between Luke and Leia. So I just wondered, uh, would you and Ruth like to have a go and maybe we, recreate... We, we could do a Bryn and Nessa yeah. take okay. on Star Wars. So okay, nice. okay. Yeah. Bryn and Nessa take on Star Wars. We could I've try that. Big, is, it, is, is it a yeah. nice big font? A nice big font. Right. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So right, are, you, no. are you ready? I'm are you ready? always ready. Do we have some music? Some music? Some nice Star Wars music? We we okay, Star Wars music. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, now... I'm sorry, Leia. I'm very late, I know, and I'll tell you for why. All right, Luke, what's occurring? Well, what it is, I've just been with my friend C3P... Um, C3P... Oh. oh. That's it. Now tell me, Ness, do you know the Force? Of course I know the Force. What do you take me for, a fool? Well, you see, the Force is very strong in my family. I have the Force. My brother, Trevor, had the Force, God rest his soul. <laughs> and my sister has the Force. But here's the thing. Surprise! 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 <laughs> you are my sister, Leia. I know. <laughs> I've always known. Fair enough. So, where to you go in now, then? I'm heading off, Leia, for a little chat with Darth Vader. And I'll tell you what, that guy is a shower of shit. <laughs> oh, Luke, that's no way to talk about your father. Darth Vader's my father? Well, blow me. <laughs> Back off, Luke. <laughs> you had your chance. You never took it. <laughs> Sorry, Leia. May the force be with you. Tidy. <laughs> a whole new franchise. That's a new franchise. New franchise. There, there you go. go. There you go. All right, and got you, everybody. Yay! Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations. Wow. Now, I, luckily, I, I, I sometimes struggle uh, interviewing like, a boxer, but, I, but there are people who know what they're doing. Uh, Stephen, you follow boxing, don't you? Yeah, my, this fella, massive, yeah. Thank you. I noticed he's that. He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Not just in stature, but in ability and yeah. technique. He's, he's amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I was that... actually really nervous meeting him, if I'm honest. Why? Because you're a legend. No, I'm not. You are. No, you are a legend. You are. Oh, stop it. <laughs> No, because when, when, when last we met, you had the four belts and you were going to fight, mm. and then... I know. Very quickly, what went wrong? I just got beat by the better man. But, Honestly, but, I just got beat by the better man. Really? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I feel like if you always look back, you can always find a reason as to why you could have done things better. Mm. But I think I just got to take it on the chin and just say, it is what it is, and I corrected it the next time. No, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. We can laugh about it now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got them back. <laughs> if I didn't win, would you have had me on your show? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> what would we talk about? <laughs> I don't know. The New Year? Christmas? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> What, what happened again? <laughs> yeah. So still no belts. Uh, yeah, had four. You had four. How out of shape can you be? <laughs> Just sending food parcels to Andy Ruiz. <laughs> but and, and tell me this, presumably now the focus is back. 
uh, on number five. You've got the four. Yes, back again. Hang on to them. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> back to get number five. Yeah. But you don't know who you're going to fight yet. No. Okay, so it's going to be either Tyson Fury or um, Daytona Wilder. Say Wilder. So, between the two of them, if you were a, a, a betting man, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, who do you think you'll be fighting? I don't know, I don't know. Tom, if you're my manager... Uh, I'd go by the colour of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're not my manager. <laughs> If you want my expertise, <laughs> that's a real fighting man. You know what I mean, anyone. Yeah. Any one of them. It doesn't matter. Do you, both, you, do you, you can, care? You do you care? That. You can't call that fight again. Yeah. So, but mm -hmm. any one of the meals. Well, the last time it was a draw. So yeah. yeah. But so you don't do you don't care or do you have a preference? The preference would be the champion who is Deontay Wilder, because it's a championship fight. But Tyson Fury's so talented as well, mm. and it's the best of British. So why not? I would fight anyone. So. Um, Either one of them is good. Not you, but I'm... Uh, <laughs> I, the way you looked at me there was like... Oh, but also, I don't have a belt. I don't, don't waste your time. Uh, don't waste your time. Uh, well, listen, the time has come for the ringing in of the new year. Now, Anthony, the last time you were on the show, mm -hmm. you were sadly robbed mm -hmm. of the title of World Fairground bell dinger. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to give you that. No, you were upset. I remember you were very upset. I know. So, uh, it was yeah, no, it, it Rob, but I think it was Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> So we're giving you the chance to regain your yeah. title tonight yeah. and ring in the new year at the same time. So yeah. if you'd like to come over here okay. to, 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 the, to the machine. Yes. Okay. Now, so here's the thing. Now, oh, you. Oh, you. Show them how it's done. Anthony Joshua is showing them how it's done. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on,